on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is OG and the Kid, Volume 3, Part 2. We're coming at you with a double whammy of content with the boys. We had some nope. technical difficulties yesterday. The Wi-Fi was cutting in and out, so unfortunately... We weren't able to bring you our prediction and breakdowns for the three feature fights, the three main event championship fights, five round fights. And I know you boys are jonesing out there for some fucking content. So we're here to bring it to you. Sorry for the blue balls, but the boys are back. How we feeling, OG? How we feeling, Damble? One day closer to the big event now. The anticipation is rising. How you boys feeling? Uh, I'm exhausted. This is uh, it, <laughs> at my age. At my age, this is tough. Tough. Yeah, to you row, seem but, a, uh, you seem a little low energy. That uh, I this completely forgot uh, what I picked yesterday, so I'm gonna I'm just going in, going in blind again, coming in hot. All I'm right, ready well, I'm ready to go. Let's fucking go. Who wants blue balls? You know, I, no, nobody. We likes can't blue, blue ball our our audience here. You know, and and no. I think this is better because we're 48 hours away. The press conference is on right now. I mean, I'm I'm fucking amped up. The adrenaline's ripping. So let's get right into it. Um, we're gonna we we missed the three feature fights, so we'll go over the BMF. We'll go over the women's title. We'll go over the main event. But we want to give you guys some extra bonus content as well. So we're going to do our favorite prelim. We all decided that Davis and Figueredo against Cody Garbrandt, two former world champions, two strikers going at it would be a great one to quickly break down for you guys. So that's where we're going to start. I guess I'll kick us off since I'm already starting. So, yeah, I mean, this is this fight's open in the main. Oh, it's open in the whole card. It's on the early prelims. It starts at 7 p.m. This is the opening fight. Two former world champions in the very first fight of the night. It's unbelievable. Dana White absolutely outdid himself. I mean, boys, boys, this card fucking bangs. You know what I'm saying? It bangs. Ah, I heard you. <laughs> and, these <Bang>. two cat <laughs> and these two cats are both strikers, both going out to throw bombs. Cody Garbrandt, you know, he hit a little, he hit a little valley in his career. He was up, down, up, down. He's got his chin issues. And he's going up against the God of War, moving up in weight, Davis and Figueredo. So there's not much to break down here. Someone's going to sleep. It's going to be a freaking banger. That's why they're kicking the night off. Get the butts in the seats early. It really comes down to who you think is going to land that bomb. I personally think Davis and Figueredo is more crisp, has a better chin. So I'm a little nervous. You know, Cody, no love. He's only 32 years old. A lot of people are sleeping on him. He's definitely got a chance in this fight. I think it's a 50-50 fight. But for my official pick, I'm going the God of War, Davis and Figueredo. What are you thinking, Ibo? Oh, man. Um, like you said, it's a crazy fight. Um, I don't know much. Dang I mean, I watch, I watch Cody. I don't know. I watched him when he was getting just beat up. So I, I just I don't have a good feeling in my head about him. Uh, I know he's come back a little bit uh, the last few fights. Yep. Figgy's just I know a you're different a, I know beast. You're a big, I know you're a big Figgy guy. You've seen yeah, that he's in just the past. A, he's a different beast. Um, I think he can t contend for a title again, although he's 36. Uh, so he's a little older. I thought Cody was a lot older, but he's only 32. Figgy's got the reach advantage. Figgy's more quick, in my opinion. I think Figgy knocks him out. Mm. All right. There we go. Two knockouts for Figgy. What do you think of OG? Well, you guys weren't very, uh, you know, detailed there. I'm looking at the uh, significant <laughs> strikes and the grappling numbers. Um, oh, shit. And, uh, and looks the records, like this... right? You're, you're looking at everything. You got to look well, at I'm everything. I'm looking at this Deviant Son Figu Figurodo. Yep. Uh, He's uh he he does a lot of submissions. Is he more of a grappler wrestler guy? Who is it? You cut out. What who are you talking about? Figgy. Devianson Figueroa. Is he <laughs> <laughs> Is he uh he looks like he's uh, he he uh grapples he's a, he's... a little bit. He gets on the ground. Yeah, he's got a couple guillotines in his arsenal, uh rear naked chokes. He's yep. a former world champion. So, you know, well, if you're a world got... champion, you got to be well-rounded. Well got... He's got a 36% submission record, and the other guy has 0%. So he just knocks yep. people out, yep. the other guy, Cody. That's right. Yep. Facts. Yep. So I'm going to go with uh, I'm gonna go with Devianson De Figueroa. All right. That's my Dave guy. Davison Figueroa for OGDP as well. <laughs> so that's a clean yeah. sweep. Mm, he's going to play. He's going to, he's actually, he's going to arm bar him. Does he do arm bars? Not really, but, you know, it's MMA. Out. Maybe head kick. What do you think? All right. I don't know. Get Superman. the brooms out. 
that sweep Superman them up. flying thing. The <laughs> Superman flying knee ball. The Superman <laughs> flying knee ball. You heard it here first from OG, the ultimate it's casual. Oh. All right, OG, you start us off here. The BMF oh, title oh. fight. This is the one everybody's waiting for. Hold the on. baddest motherfucker belt. Five rounder. Break it down for us, OG. What do you got? Is this uh, Gaethje? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. The highlight. Oh, yeah. Justin Gaethje. So uh, against Max Holloway. Uh, yeah, we, uh, you know, I, I'm still on the Gaethje uh Gaethje bandwagon here. Okay. Uh, he just he seems like he's going to be uh, tougher. Uh, he's going to be motivated. He's he, the favorite, uh, right? Do you got the odds up? I don't know the odds. Off the uh, I have the odds up. He's uh, it, minus 170. So oh, almost two to up. one. That's surprising. Well, so that came down. I saw when I saw it was minus. Well, yeah, last night it, I thought it was minus 220. Anyway, uh, surprising. 170 to plus 141. The other guy. Uh, the other guy looks mean. He looks a little a little squirrely, though. So uh, I'm going with Justin uh, Gaethje just from uh, – I think he's going to be motivated. He's pissed off. There you go. That's a good pick. What, a, um, what, about, what about Max Holloway? Is he not motivated? He's, he's a squirrely. You know what? He looks, he looks a little sad in his picture. He's a, and, he's uh, a squirrely little peasant. A little squirrely <laughs> little, little bug. Squirrely and, little Hawaiian fuck. Oh, is he Hawaiian? Oh. Yeah. yeah. He, he oh. drinks us Hawaiian watermelons, baby. Come on now, the Hawaiian oh, yeah. the pineapples. He's gonna be he's gonna be a whining when he lays on the ground with an arm bar in his face. Oh, another arm bar! Uh, two arm bars for OGDP. <laughs> the, the flying highball knee kick. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Dan. But what do you think here? I mean, Justin's a good pick. Listen, Justin Gaethje was my the reason of I got it's into a good the pick, obviously. into the UFC. He was my number one favorite fighter initially. Uh, him versus Tony Ferguson. <sighs> Justin Gage is just a, one of the best people to watch. Me and Jordan um, saw him live at Madison Square Garden. Was one of the best fights I've ever ever seen, and we were there in person. <laughs> Fight of the year. Ob obviously, he just knocked out Dustin uh, Fazeev. He he brutally beat up, which was a great fight. But <sighs> for whatever reason, Max Holloway with the buzz cut. I'm not going against him. I think he's going to be a little more clean. A little Ooh. more crisp. He looks bigger than he than he normally Ooh. is. Yep. I, I don't know. This is a tough fight for me. Justin is one of my favorite fighters, but there's something inside of me telling me Max is going to piece him up a little bit. Justin's susceptible to, to getting hit, obviously, but he does yeah. have power to, to go back. Um, I don't know. It's crazy to be Max's plus 180 underdog, but so I'm going Insane. Max Holloway. I don't know if he'll knock him out. Could be a decision, but should be an amazing fight. Max Holloway, dog pick, baby. The dogs are barking. Yeah. Let's go, OG. <laughs> terrible pick. All right. Well, I'm up. I, I think that thing inside Dan well, that's telling him that is is, is gas. gas. Terrible pick. Terrible pick. You got to yeah, rip on. one, Dan Bull? You got a fart <laughs> I guess so. He said I mean, something hey. inside of him is making this pick. I'm like, yeah, I'm terrible. You know, when I'm I saw be... Max Holloway, you know, it's buzz cut season, baby. It is buzz, buzz cut, cut season. season. Kill season, baby. All right. I'll break it down real quick. So. You, know you guys touched you on it. This fight's absolutely bonkers. Legendary fight. Two future Hall of Famers. Both former, you know, Max, undisputed world champion. Justin Gagey, former interim world champion. Current BMF, baddest motherfucker champion right now. This one's five rounds, which I love. I wish the Charles Oliveira, Armin Sarukian was five rounds. I'm a little bummed out that that's not. But I love that this one's five rounds. We know that Max Holloway has an iron chin. He's never even been knocked down, let alone knocked out. Justin Gagey, he's a dog. He's been in there with every style. Habib Nurmagomedov, Tony Ferguson, Rafael Fazeev, young guys, old guys, legends, everybody. And this is another one of those fights. I mean, this is going to be hard to beat for fight of the night. The way these guys fight, they're striking styles. I mean, sure, can Max Holloway grapple? Yeah. Is Justin Gagey a good wrestler? Was he a wrestler in high school? Whatever the fuck that is. Sure. These guys are going to go for each other's necks. He's going to test Max Chin. And I'm, I've just been daydreaming about this fight all day. Oh, man, you know, it could go this way. It could knock down. It's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be four rounds, five rounds. So, you know, AG? I've been really having a tough time uh, determining. Can you hear me, OG? Yeah, I can hear you. But yeah. Gaethje wins uh, Gaethje wins 80% by knockout or TKO. The other guy, that, the little that, that, flea that's boy, right. 46%. Flea boy. But what Jordan just said is flea boy's never even been knocked down at all. Yeah. 
Fit, yeah, squirrely yeah, man, yeah. squirrely man, yeah. pineapples is fucking strong as an ox. So, don't <laughs> yeah, interrupt no. me again, OGDP, or I'm gonna thought, boot you out of here. All right, don't interrupt. Me. No, I'm kidding. I thought you were done with that terrible take. He just needs no, to pick his fighter. <laughs> I'm not done yet. So, like I said, it's oh been fifty fifty. I've been flopping back and forth every day. I think something different. I wake up. I'm like, this guy's gonna win. Oh, I wake up. Oh, this other guy's gonna fucking win. And you know what, boys? You know what I thought about that really just tickled me, that, that really made it easy to make this pick? Hold on one second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> one second. Hold up. I'm feeling something in my fucking bones. Hold on. Wow. See, JP, Octagon Jordan's feeling it, too. Whatever's inside of us. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. Boy, you loaded up at the dollar store. <laughs> to be the best, you gotta beat the best, and the best is blessed, baby. Choo choo! I'm the heat, brother. I'm the fucking heat, brother. Let go, Max Holloway. Down the fucking hatch. The boys are hot. Bet the bread. Bet the house. Boy, Danny with water today. He had bourbon. Oh, that night. was disgusting. <laughs> I have a bu- Max have Holloway. <laughs> oh, Easy fucking money. I uh, I walked in there and said, damn, this is a big room. Oh, my God. All right. Who's well, up I next? will point out, though, that Justin Gaethje has underrated leg kicks. Unbelievable leg kicks. Very Max, good leg kicks. Max, Max has to watch for that. If if Max gets through his leg kicks, I think he definitely wins. So. That is how Volkanovski outpointed him. A lot of that was with the leg kicks. But yeah. Volkanovski, obviously, very anyway. different fighter than Justin Gaethje. And also, another thing to consider, you know Justin Gaethje likes putting on a show this is UFC 300. I'm thinking he's, you know, he's he's recently he's been be swinging. good defense, you know, mindfulness. Oh I, I think I this one, right. I, so I think right this here. one, he's going to come in adrenaline filled, <laughs> trying to get that kill, trying to test that Max Holloway chin. And yep. I think it's going to be a fourth round TKO pineapple smash Max Holloway. Next fight. I'm just concerned that you wake up every morning thinking about this. This is the yeah. first time I thought about all this. It's been a problem, brother. It's been a fucking problem. Thank God we only got 48 hours left. Jeez, I, I just wake up and think about, like, breakfast. All right, what do we oh, got? You're a loser. All right. No, that's so. you woke up this morning thinking about freaking Scotty Scheffler winning the Masters. Oh, yeah, I was thinking about that. You woke up making sure Jenna was studying and I was getting my oil change and Dan Bull was, was logged on to his work on time. <laughs> I know he's logged on. Did you get the oil change? Yeah, he did. All right, next fight. <laughs> All right, I'll break do it. it down. I'll start us off. So it's the women's title fight. We touched on <laughs> yeah, this yesterday. Question. Why did they put the Why didn't they put this Gaethje thing the second fight, like the second to last fight? Why did they put the women in the second? It's a great last? question, OG. That's a very casual question. So I'm sure the viewers are appreciative talking, that you asked talking that. About the fight of the night, like the, what? The Gaethje Holloway fight is kind of a, for a made up belt. It's for the BMF title, baddest oh. motherfucker. It's kind of like a WWE. You know, they, they just made it for violent fighters, pretty much. Yeah. So it's not an undisputed world championship. The women's uh, fight is for an undisputed world championship belt. Makes sense. So just to keep the dignity of the sport, a lot of people were saying this sketchy uh, Holloway fight could easily be main event, which I agree. What do you think, Tamble? I could I could agree with that. Yeah, I think it could, it could be main event on any card in the past year. <laughs> in my opinion. I mean, when you look at all the promotions UFC's been putting out, all the pictures online, all the stuff on TV. I mean, Max and Gaethje and everything. They're, they've been highlighting these guys, like, no yep. pun intended. But anyway, so the women's fight, we touched on this a little bit. We got Zhang Wei Li against ya- Yan Xiaonan. I can barely even say their goddamn names. The hmm. Battle of China. We got two <laughs> China. 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 <laughs> we got two Chinese women going at it. No clue why the UFC didn't put this in Hong Kong or Tokyo, wherever wherever the Come fuck. Come on, JP. Come on. Jeez. Tokyo. Do you know where Tokyo is? Is that Japan? Yeah. Yes, it's in Japan. All right. Hong Kong. <laughs> That's why they didn't do it in Japan. Anyway, so Zhang Wei Li, Zhang Wei Li is one of the women's fighters that I actually enjoy watching. She she puts on great scraps. She can wrestle. She can strike. We've all seen her fight against Joanna on Jacek, the first one. She made her head blow up like a freaking hot air balloon. Disfigured her, picture, mutilated her. Completely unrecognizable. Insane fight. Insane fight. And Yao Yan Xiaonan. Very good fighter, you know, decent everywhere, very well-rounded, good striker, good defensive wrestling. But when you get up to this level, you know, the number one, the final boss, 
I just don't think the the basic fundamentals and being well rounded is going to be enough. I don't think she's strong, strong enough. I should say I don't think she's as strong as Zhang Wei Li. I don't think her grappling's as good as Zhang Wei Li. But I think Yan Yan Nan, she's going to put up a good fight. You know, she's there. She's she's a top rate contender. I think it'll be a good scrap, an entertaining scrap. It's definitely not a yeah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. OGDP. Look at that punch. She's not look at that. that. Hitting her jaw, just yeah. smashing oh, it. Power. Yeah, mm. Jesus. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This this chick ain't losing. All right. So basically, Yan Shaonan is like her her stepbrother. You know, her her skinny stepbrother that does need a lot, watches a lot of anime, plays a lot of video games, and Zhang Wei Li is going to go in and beat that ass. <laughs> this is stereotype central right now. <laughs> so I got Zhang Wei Li taking her down, ground and pound, second, third round. TKO and still what do you think Dambo? yeah I agree I mean I'm not this is I'm not too excited for this fight uh I'm glad it's not another women's main event fight but um, <laughs> hopefully this one's know, a quick one hopefully this you know one's I a don't quick one. I don't know Jan um is that how you say that name Jan yeah Jan 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 I don't yeah, know her too me. well. I looked her up a little bit this week. This is this, this, <laughs> yeah. is this chick's face. Yeah. That's what Zhang Wei Li does, yeah. people. That's what yeah. she does. Holy this is shit. women's I, uh, fighting. Oh, my God. Yeah. And, uh, again, we saw Wei Li um, <laughs> in New York City. She's a beast. I don't I, I don't know. I don't even think this is going to be even any what close. Maybe the first two I rounds. I mean, Yan um, Nan's a good fighter, though. You know. I, I just, yeah, I think Wei Li could win every round. Um, Definitely. So that's who I'm going with. I, you know, Wei Li's just so powerful and strong. Um, this this girl Yan could surprise me. I don't know if she does. That'd be great. Um, but I'm going Wei Li. Yeah, you remember the uh, the Zhang Wei Li Rose Namajunas the first fight, not the one we were at at Madison Square Garden, but the first one when Rose head kick KO'd her first round. Yep. I mean that was nutty. So. MMA is insane. Obviously, anything can happen. But uh, you you said Zhang Wei Li, Dimbo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think by uh, by ground and pound knockout or decision. Boom. All right, OG. Well, I uh, you know looking at some of these pictures, I I was originally going to go with my girl Jan because you know you we saw her in. Uh, well, that's what you said last night. You switching I up know, on we us, saw her eh? In Newark, and she just knocked a girl stiff as a board. She's really good. <laughs> I, we're kind of you know under undervaluing her I but mean, she's she's really good. Are, i think i think you're basing it on her pummeling that girl's face um yeah you know what i'm gonna, I'm gonna go with my guy there i'm gonna stick with my girl I, I saw her in person the other girl was probably gonna kill her maybe but uh, there's no odds <laughs> on this for some reason is that because they're too too like she's such a favorite Wait, yeah. many, uh, i think minus 500 okay. is it is it's that a, what the odds are the odds off. <laughs> yeah hmm. damn all right really? so well, they took the odds off of the UFC page. Yeah, there's Dang. some weird, odd, weird, weird, weird lines. All right, yeah, um, yeah, and shout in, dog lock, lock her up, boys. Let's fucking go, make <laughs> yeah, that bread. That's going to be a big, big upset. Um, I feel first like round I fucking KO head kick. I feel like I shouldn't do that, and they're both from uh, China, which I, I think Seoul is the capital of China, right? Seoul. Yeah. yeah. Seoul. Uh, I, I could see pretty much every underdog winning on the main card, um, except for fat ass Sol's, Cody Sol's Brundage's a, bullshit. Cody Bumdage. By the way, Sol's yeah, and his hairline. Holy in Korea shit. for you two youngsters. I wasn't even listening. Whatever he's geography. I, I don't even know what you said. <laughs> <laughs> well, Are you, you still of picking? Japan was in China. All right, what's no, your I goddamn picked, pick, guy? I picked my girl. All right, he's going with Jan. Jan, Jan, Juan, Juani. All right. <laughs> Jan Jumanji. All right. That's my girl. That's my girl. You going stoppage or decision for that one? I'm just going W. I don't know. W. Okay. We just got to get OGDP some goddamn W's here. We don't. Okay. That's what we got to do. We're good. That's making We're good some up. good picks. Yes. All right, boys. Main event time. This is a special card, so we need some special outfits. Main event time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, baby. All right, boys. Do it. Wow, George, look at you. We locked in. <laughs> we locked Let's in. Go. UFC 300. OGDP, kick us off the main event. Legendary card, boys. This card fucks. I'm going first. <laughs> yeah, start oh, us off. It, it fucks. This card bangs, boys. <laughs> 
I'm going to be a wreck all if night. If you were my kids, this would be embarrassing. But seeing as we're just <laughs> podcasters, it's all good. Um, let's see. Who are we doing here? Oh, we're doing the, the main, main event, event. guy. Main event. A- Alex Pereira against Boom. Jamal Hill. Boom. Yep. J- Jamahal Hill. Jamahal. <laughs> Jumanji. Jumanji Hall. All um, right, what's your breakdown? What's the official casuals take breakdown? All right, well, I know that this guy, Alex Pereira, because I bought you a poster and a T-shirt, was flat as a board oh, on this guy right back. here? This, this guy? <laughs> yeah. What? It's right there. Yeah. I want him to sign it. I, I want him to sign this eventually at some point. This is my favorite yeah. picture of Alex Pereira. I love this picture. I think he looks good. I think hair is on point. He looks fresh. Yeah, so I don't – I mean, I guess I don't watch. So I don't – after that, apparently he's done pretty good. He's, he got back up. He's done real um, good. But he's 9-2. and two. The other guy, however, is 12-1. and one. Um, United States, 6'4". They're both same same weight. Everything's the same, really. The reach, the the weight. The, I don't know about the age, but uh, so mm. I got to go to like the to the stats here, and I'm looking at uh, significant strikes. And uh, Jumanji Hill lands <laughs> seven per minute, whereas this other guy only five per minute. Okay. So I'm going. I'm going. Yeah, he's too fucking that. stiff. Plywood ass. Yeah, What's up? well, I, th- I think I changed my mind on this, too, because I think Jamal, to me, he looks a little doughy, and he's a little fat um, in his picture here. He's so- he looks soft. That's what a lot of people say. A lot of people I know, say that. he looks that. soft. The other, guy, the other guy working out much harder. He's got a six-pack, but uh, I'm going to change things up. I'm going with Jamal Jamahal Hill <laughs> because of his <laughs> strikes per minute. There you go. All right, yeah. how does he get it done, OG? This is the main event. We need a, we need a, you know, right. stoppage, uh, he's submission. Going to, he's going to have a KO or a TKO. KO, TKO in the third round. Who'd you, who'd you, you pick again? I'm sorry. Who'd you pick? John Mahal Hill. All right, cool. John Mahal Hill. Third round, Damn knockout boy. or TKO, one of the other. Main uh, event, Dan Bull. <laughs> main event, Dan Bully. Remember, you were the main event guy. I fucking Let's go hate Dan Alex. Uh, Dan Bull. <laughs> Alex Pereira, I, who likes this guy? Nobody. Uh, douche alert. Call him douche board alert. Man. I mean. Is he douchey? Uh, no, he just, he he's expressionless. He doesn't, there's nothing there. Um, mm. So, he but all on we, this podcast. All weekend yeah, last night, I was, uh, I was leaning him. Um, I watched Sweet Dreams here, Jamal Hill, his press conference yesterday. And I watched a few of his other um, interviews this week. Yep. He uh, he looks confident. He looked he looked great to me. It's swaying my opinion. He's younger. Um, the only worry I have is he's coming off the Achilles. Yeah. Uh, and he's coming back at nine ten months. Ooh, I didn't if know he's, that. If his conditioning is where it was before the Achilles, I, I think he definitely wins. Either way, I'm going Jamal Hill. I'm switching my pick. All week I was thinking uh, Poton. He's just – I hate him too much. Uh, and, and Jamal Hill looked so confident all week. I think Jamal Hill pieces him up on the feet. Poton is one of the strongest people in the UFC, so obviously Jamal Hill has to watch out for that. But Jamal Hill also has unbelievable power. Has uh, um, Jamal Hill fought since the Achilles? I didn't know he no. fought his Achilles. No, oh. sir. No, and, sir. And he's coming back relatively quickly. Ooh, so, I don't like any of that. Oh, OGDP switching his pick. OG, you still have a chance. We're still live here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna think about. It. I'm gonna listen to your uh, your breakdown. I didn't know this is his uh, first fight back. That's what like has Aaron Dan made his official his official? Yeah, pick? Well, yeah. So I so I, I'm fifty fifty on this fight, but I'm going Jamal Hill. I hate Alex Pereira too much. I, I'm not picking him. I think Jamal Hill knocks him out late third round, cold like Adesanya type knockout up against the cage <laughs> uppercut. A new, new Johnny Walker esque. Johnny Walker esque. <laughs> Johnny Walker's got the worst chin in the UFC. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, boys, I'm not gonna lie. The more I think about this fo- this fight, the more I get amped up for it. When it first got announced, I was a little disappointed. Oh, we're not gonna get a Conor McGregor. We're not gonna get a John Jones on this card. No Brock Lesnar returning. <laughs> Oh, it's just old ja- Jamahal Hill and Alex Plywood Poeton bitch ass Pereira. Jeez. But the more I've been thinking about it, the more I'm getting amped up for it. All right. The way these boys match up, and like Dan Bull's saying, I've been listening to a couple sound bites here and there, and it's got me thinking. It's got me thinking oh, long, and it's got tr- me thinking trouble. hard. All that's right. Trouble. 
So on the surface, it's very easy. Oh, the two strikers, you know, Alex Pereira is obviously going to win. He's a two-time glory world champion kickboxer. He's very technical, great leg kicks, great calf kicks, you know, great hooks, great left hand. You know, uh, it's a very going to be a stand-up battle. Jamal Hill's coming off the Achilles. Obviously, this is Alex Pereira's fight to lose. But no, this was what I was thinking. Jamal Hill, he's a little bit different than these other guys. All right, he's a, he's a tad bit different, if you know what I'm saying. He doesn't just fight. Oh, I'm. Go- this is going to be a bout. I'm gonna I'm gonna out outpoint him and win a fuck no. Okay, this guy comes in life or death, like he's in an alleyway. Did you see Glover Teixeira at the end of their last fight? He was a dead fucking body, and he sent him into retirement. Oh, who's Glover Teixeira? That's Poetan's mentor. Gonna be in the corner. What the fuck is he gonna tell him? Oh. This is how I got my ass beat. Don't do this. Don't. What kind of advice is he going to get? Don't do this. That's the only thing he can give. That's the only thing he can give because he beat his ass. Then he beat Tiago Santos's ass. Jamal Hill is the Brazilian hitman, and he's coming for another one. All right? He's not going to fight this man. It's not going to be a technical war, points battle, fucking calf kick bullshit. Jamal Hill is going to get in his face. He's going to make it dirty, and he's going to make Alex Pereira uncomfortable. And he's going to bludgeon this man. He's Uh-oh. getting boned. He's getting fucked up, boys. All right? So, Yuri Prohashka, I already locked him up. Lock of the night. But this main event, send him home. Definite finish in this fight. That's what I'm locking up. I'm locking up a finish. Jamal Hill, vicious, vicious KO in the fourth round after battering his ass. We're going to see Poetan bleeding. We're going to see him disheveled, looking to his corner, and Jamal Hill is going to be back on top. I don't care about the Achilles injury. He said in his interview he got the same surgery as Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Ayahuasca (laughs) Rodgers, okay? Backers alert. The guy walks on water. So Jamal Hill is going to be bionic. He's going to have a bionic leg. We're going Jamal Hill, and we're going fucking KO. Let go, boys! Uh, Woo! Oh, my God. Jamal Hill, hey. wow. fucking KO, man, and that's what we're doing. <laughs> UFC 300, and hopefully we never hear this Poton idiot ever again. We'll send okay. him back to the favelas. He's gone. We got Charles, Charles Oliveira. We don't need his ass. Sweet dreams, man. Poton. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot to mention. Thank you, Dan Bull. We're sending him on a one-way ticket to Sweet Dreams University. Yeah. Touch him up, <laughs> you baby. Putang, though. What's his name? Putang. Jamal Poetan. I thought you were Poetan saying. gets no Putang. He gets no Putang. He's a bitch. <laughs> you sure? I mean, you know. I don't think he has a college degree, so he's going to have a tough time at Touch Em Up University, Sweet Dreams University. It's going to be night night. And I Sweet bet Ad- State, Ad- Adetanya is going to be there first bro rooting for Jamal Hill. They go. Yep, they're already he's facetime. He's going to see him. He's going to see Adesanya out of the corner of his eye, and he's going to like get. He's going to lose his mind and just get knocked out. Flat. Yeah, damn right. So, anyway, boys, right. part like two. It. Before we sign off, this is the biggest card in UFC history. The whole, entire card f- bangs. We've already went over that. Let's just quickly predict which fight we think will win. Fight of the night. You Ooh. can pick any of the fights on the card. It can be main card, prelims, early prelims. We got Jalen Turner on the card, Money Moicano, Kayla Harrison. So I'll go first here. Obviously, the obvious one's Gaethje Holloway, which, you know, I, w- I would not be upset if you guys choose that as fight of the night. But I'm going Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sarukian. Fight of the night. I think the way those guys match up stylistically, it's going to be a grappling war. It's going to be a, a striking battle. Both guys are going to be bleeding, and we might get a third-round stoppage. I think that one's winning a uh, fight of the night. What do you think, OGDP? Well, uh, just a quick little scan here. I was going to go Bo Nickel. Kidding. Um, <laughs> Maybe performance. <laughs> <of mine. laughs> he's a he's a minus twenty one hundred. Maybe. Because... What about your girl Holly Holm? Didn't you you, no, you no. dated her in high school? You said right. Uh, no, I think, uh, I feel like I'm older than her, but, uh, maybe not by a whole no. lot. Um, well, you had her poster in your office. Remember that? Yeah. When no. you were a kid growing up, <laughs> I had Farrah Fawcett's poster in my office. None of the girls that I followed when I was 10 years old in 1977 punched anybody in the face. They were oh, all just okay. hot and like uh, Halle know. Berry. No, that, that was after Halle was after Farrah Fawcett, oh. uh, you know, Wonder Woman, whatever that, I forget yeah. her name. All right. So all my right. pick is Yuri Projatska 
against Alexander Rakic. Rakic. That's the not a bad pick, night. man. You think that one's going to be a back and forth war, OG? I, hey, the one guy's number two, number the other guy's a number five ranked. The odds are even. So yeah, that's my that's that's it. Fight can you pull night. up that? Can you pull up that picture with Yuri and his hairdo while uh while Dan Bulls Yeah, yeah, Dan Bully, you prediction? go. I go get that. I got that. All right, I'm you ready. You got fight uh, of the night, Dan Bully. Dan Bully. It, it's tough because I was going to pick either one of those three, but I'm going to change it up. I'm going Diego Lopez versus Sadiq Yusuf. Oh. I think I think it I think it has the potential to be an absolute war. Both of them are dogs. It's a tough fight to pick. Um, I think it's going to be a crazy fight. Well, neither guy has bad fights. There's That's what I boy. mean. Yeah, there he is. I got ugly haircut, full power. I mean, Let's the, do that. The, the beauty of it is all four of the fights we've just talked about could all be fight of the night. It's going to be insane. Full power. Full power with my antenna. All right, let's do I, that. Let's do I go that. punch a tree. I punch <laughs> a tree. All right, let's do that. Yeah, no, so I, uh, I think, I'm, I, think, I, think I'm, I think my picks are pretty pretty solid. The Hold Gaethje on. one's going to put me over the top from YouTube. Hold losers. on. Hold on real quick. I want to just. Oh! I want to. <laughs> Shut the hell up. We were, I'm going to dive into that uh, Damble, uh Lopez Youssef real quick for 30 seconds. Sadiq Youssef never has a boring fight, bro. Did you see his last fight against Edson Barboza? Barboza. Yeah. Oh, my God. Holy shit. And Diego Lopez starching people at MSG. Pat Sabatini. <laughs> yeah. Diego, was Diego Lopez is like the new hype train of the UFC. So we'll see how he fares against some real talent here. If he wins, Damble, if he wins, you got to get his haircut. Diego Lopez? Yeah. I think you already kind of, if you, if you like laid your hair on your forehead, I think you could have his haircut. <laughs> All right. If he wins next time we come on here for a pay-per-view, I'll have Diego Lopez's little, little, well, fu- well, well, fuck it. I say we do a, a post fight recap on Sunday. Let's, let's do a post, oh my let's God. do a post pay-per-view. <laughs> Boy, three Maybe. UFC podcasts for OG in, in a week. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's gotta explode. All right, all right, all right. So th- those are the picks, everybody. Enjoy the show. Grab a drink. Yeah. Grab your best friends. Grab your fam. Everybody enjoy. I'll probably be live streaming. I'm gonna win this shit. I think we went. We had some couple opposites. You know, Damble went with uh, Olivera. I went with Sarukian. Dad went with Gagey. Me and Damble went with Max Holloway. So we got a lot of shit in the line. Oh, uh, don't forget about my upset lock of the week. Yan, what is her name? Yan <laughs> shout in. Yeah, my girl, my girl, lock upset of the week, Yan Shanann. That's going to be a big one. Right. Plus that's 400. Gonna... Put the fucking dough down, boys. That's going to be a big one. Let's get Dan Bully a new house. Let's yeah. <laughs> put it up. Let's go. Let's get OG a hot tub, baby. Let go. All right, boys, hot we're out. Everybody enjoy their night. UFC like, 300. Dan Bully, sign us out. Let's Ooh, fucking like go, baby. Like UFC 300. Let's, let's go. Fuck yes! Let's go! Peace out, A-Town!